everyone and welcome to this 15 minute yoga practice for neck pain. Um, you might need one piece of equipment in this just to support your neck if you need it. And it's just a rolled up towel. So like a hand towel just rolled up and you'll just be resting your forehead on it. We're gonna start off this um, in this class in child's pose. So you're gonna have your knees nice and wide, sit your bum back towards your heels and then fold forward. Now, if you want, you can use your towel and rest your forehead on the towel if that feels good for you. Hands are just gently forward, so you're not stretching as far as you can go. And here you're gonna take a nice deep breath in through your nose and notice the sensation of your belly expanding into your legs as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, notice the belly soften and allow your head and your whole upper body to just rest into the floor. Two more breaths with this focus, breathing in through the nose, Feel that belly expand, lower ribcage expand into your legs. Breathing out through the nose or mouth. Last round. And then feel the weight of your head through the forehead on the mat and just start to gently rock your forehead from left to right. So you're rocking onto the left side of the forehead, rolling across it, rocking onto the right side. So a really good little movement to release any tension in the upper neck, to release the muscles that attach from our neck to our skull, that can often cause headaches if they get tight. And just to get the joints of the upper neck moving in a very gentle way. Go for two more rocks. And then we're going to take the towel and just put it aside. Put your hands in a little bit narrower. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back into a downward dog. Here, allow the weight of your head to almost go towards the ground. So you get a little bit of traction for your neck. So the weight of your head has been taken off your shoulders. And just three breaths here, breathing in through the nose, down deep into the back of the rib cage, back of the lungs, and a nice sigh out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and sigh out through the mouth. And last round. Then we're gonna put all the weight into the left foot and just move the right foot forward. We're going to come into a low lunge position. Again, you can use your trusty little towel or you can get another one um, if you want to use a different one and put it under your knee if it's a little bit sore. Going to come up into a low lunge position. We're going to bring our hands behind our head so it's supported. Rest the weight of your head back into your hands. And from here, you're going to think about lifting your breastbone up towards the ceiling and allowing your head to rest back into your hands. So the head and neck is fully supported by your hands and we're just getting an extension stretch. Just two, three breath cycles here at your own pace. Then use the hands to move the head back. Your breastbone points straight ahead again. Release the hands. And you're going to reach them back behind you. So reach your fingertips towards the back of the mat and then bring the hands together, interlace the hands. And think about reaching your knuckles down towards the back heel. So you're getting a stretch to the front of the shoulders, front of the chest, and you can lift the breastbone slightly if it's comfortable on your neck. Release the hands and you're going to rest your right hand on your right leg, if that's the leg in front. And then you're gonna take your left hand out to the side, turn it so the thumb faces down and bring that left hand behind your back and take a hold of your right arm. You're gonna pull that right shoulder gently down towards the floor, just give it a little tug and let your head or your left ear tip over to your left shoulder. Just getting a stretch in the right side of the neck. You can look up slightly and look down slightly and that will change where you feel the stretch or you can just hold it still. 
bring your head back to the center. Bring your knee down, that front leg. And we're gonna bring our hands onto the ground. And we're gonna lower ourselves down onto our tummies. And then when you're here, slide the arms forward and lift your head and chest up into sphinx pose. So your breastbone is lifting up and forward and your gaze is forward. Just take two breaths here. And then take the rolled up towel if you need it and you can support your neck by resting your forehead on the towel. If it's sore, just leaving it on the ground. Reach your hands back by your sides, palms facing up, shoulders just resting into the ground, and then lift your shoulders away from the ground and float the arms up. Feel your shoulder blades pull down towards your bum cheeks, and then lower the arms and let the shoulders drop. So this exercise turns on a lot of muscles that will take pressure off our neck muscles. So all the muscles that move our shoulder blades down and back, and it will take pressure off the neck muscles that usually pull our shoulder blades up and forward. Lower the hands and just one more round, lift the shoulders away from the floor, float the arms up. And then lower them down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes underneath and you're going to gently press up and back into your downward facing dog. Stick your tailbone or your bum up towards the ceiling and allow your head to be nice and heavy. And try and let go of any tension in the jaw. You can slightly part your teeth. You can let your tongue rest against the roof of your mouth. And then we're gonna take the left foot forward, lower the right knee to the ground. Use your little towel again if you want. It's actually quite comfortable. Um, and then come back up into a kneeling position or into your low lunge position, sorry. Bring your hands behind your head and just support the weight of your head. So allow the weight of your head to rest back into the hands. You can pull your elbows in so that they're pointing straight ahead and then lift your breastbone and let your gaze lift up towards the ceiling. But the weight of the head is supported in the hands so your neck muscles can relax. And you're just here for two or three breath cycles. And then bring yourself back into an upright position. Release the hands, reach them back behind you. Fingertips reach back towards the end of your mat. Interlace your fingers. And think about reaching the knuckles of your hand down towards your heel. Lift your breastbone a little bit if it feels good and you're opening up through the front of your chest. And you're just here for two breath cycles. Then release the hands, place your left hand on your left thigh, reach your right arm out to the side and turn it so that the thumb faces down. And then bring that right arm around your back and take a hold of your left arm. And we're gonna tip our head over to the right. Um, you're going to lift your gaze up ever so slightly and then drop it down. And you should feel a stretch through the muscles in your left side neck. Then we're going to bring the hands back to the ground, grab your head towel, or if you're using the same one, just move it up to the top, so whatever you prefer. Bring your hands forward, bring your body forward so you're in a little plank, but with the knees down. Lower yourself down nice and gently onto your tummy and then slide your hands forward into your sphinx pose. So you've got your elbows under your shoulders and your forearms are parallel. That breastbone is lifting up and your gaze is looking straight ahead. Just notice if there's any tension around your jaw in this pose so you can gently part your teeth and allow your tongue to rest against the roof of your mouth. And that helps to relax your jaw muscles, a lot of which attach into your neck. And then lower the head down onto the towel if you need it or just the ground. 
And this time we're going to have the arms out to the, at a little bit of a wider angle, so like 45 degrees. Palms are going to be facing down this time. So we're going to turn on different muscles in the upper back to offload our neck. Same movement, lift the shoulders away from the ground, feel your shoulder blades hug your back and then float the arms off the ground until they're parallel to the floor. Lower the arms, let the shoulders drop. And just three more rounds, lift the shoulders away, feel the shoulder blades hug the upper back and then lift the arms. And lower them down. And last two, shoulder blades hug the upper back Float the arms up, palms facing down. Lower the arms, let the shoulders drop. And last one, shoulder blades hug the back, float the arms up. You're holding for two or three seconds and then lower down. Bring your hands under your shoulders and you're gonna press back to your last downward dog. Again, allow the weight of the head to just hang towards the floor a little bit of traction for the neck. Two or three breaths here. Or you can go into a child's pose if you prefer. So you can always swap out these downward dogs for child's pose. And then we're gonna lower our knees to the ground and we're gonna finish this practice in a seated position that you're comfortable in. So you can sit with your bum on your heels or cross-legged or just on a chair or a stool, whatever suits you. We're gonna do a little bit of breathing practice to finish. You're gonna have your palms face up and that's because it opens up through the front of your shoulders and chest uh, and definitely do that if you've been at a computer all day or working in a manual job. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears, roll them back and just let them rest down. If you've got a very proud chest, like I'm sticking out because I'm recording a video, um, allow your chest to soften and relax down. Then bring your attention to your jaw, which I've been chatting about a few times in this practice, and just tense your, tense your jaw up real tight, like you're gritting your teeth or you're holding something between your teeth. And then let tension in your jaw go. You can think about your teeth being slightly parted and your tongue just resting against the roof of your mouth. And then bring your attention to the rest of your face and just squint your eyes or tighten your eyelids really tight, squeeze them shut, feel the tension in your face and then let it go. And then for the next few breaths, we're just gonna focus on taking our breath in through our nose and sending that breath down deep into our belly. Breathing out through your nose or mouth, whichever you prefer. You can have your eyes closed or a soft gaze. And you're here for four more cycles of breath at your own pace, breathing in through your nose, down deep into your belly, breathing out through your nose or mouth. Then open your eyes if they were closed and give your hands a little bit of a shake or else you can stay in your breathing practice for another three to five minutes if you, if you like it and if you need a little bit more time. Um, but we're all done and so well done. Mm -hmm.